Let's go through adding a new employee to iSolve. First, log into your account at papertrails.myisolve.com or by visiting papertrails.com and clicking the login icon in the top right. Navigate to the menu on the left side of the screen. Under Employee Management, click on Quick Hire. First, fill in all the employee's information, including their hire date and employment category. Next, under the General section, this is where we'll fill in the first and last name of this new employee, the employee's social security number, and we'll enter an email for access to the self-service portal. We'll want to make sure that the checkbox is checked off to make sure that they have access to self-service. We'll enter the employee's address. And if we would like, we can enter additional information such as marital status and phone number here. Let's navigate down to salary information and input the employee's pay group. We'll select a type of pay, meaning whether this employee is an hourly or a salaried employee. And then we'll fill in the salary or hourly rate for this employee. Alternate rates of pay may be added here as well if certain employees work multiple positions with different rates of pay for each position. Navigate back to the top into the second column. Here, we'll provide information including the employee's division, department, job, and more. Under the tax location category, we will choose the residence and work locations for this employee for tax purposes. Under the federal income tax section, we can select the filing status from the drop down menu. We can then enter the number of dependents and any deduction amounts for this employee here. We'll go ahead and repeat this process for the state income tax section as well. Finally, let's enter the employee's direct deposit information at the bottom of the page. Under the status drop down, select active. We'll then choose the correct type of account for this bank account. Under the sequence section, we can choose to have a certain order of deposits happen for multiple bank accounts. If we're using just one direct deposit account, let's select remaining net. We can then enter the bank routing number and account number here. If we are using multiple direct deposit accounts, under the sequence section, we'll choose one. We'll select the amount of money or the percentage of the employee's pay we'd like to have deposited into this first bank account. We would then click add new and choose the status and account type for the second account. We could then select remaining net under sequence to have the remainder of this check deposited into the second bank account. We can then enter the routing and account numbers for the second bank account. If we need to, we can continue to add additional direct deposit accounts by hitting the add new button. Once finished adding direct deposit accounts, we'll hit the save button near the top in the black menu bar. Your new employee has now been entered into the system and they will receive an email shortly to set up their self-service account.